Okay, Panzer J back with Italy. Turn number 9.6 in Operation Live and Let Die. Um, Italy's not going to war this turn. They're going to continue to sit on the sidelines and see how things develop. Um, Fighting Irish on the last turn as the Free French went ahead and took Tunisia away from Vichy. So my question is, that does that now um, align Vichy uh, with Germany? Um, again, if you look at under Vichy diploma, diplomacy, they're a minor power controlled by Germany. Um, Vichy can only ever attack Free France. So um, Vichy themselves can only go after the Free French. Um, Vichy will align with Germany if Vichy is attacked by the Allies slash common turn. The Axis powers may not attack Vichy. So Free French, the Free French are the Allies. So I would think that, yes, that does align uh, Vichy to the Germans. But uh, let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to move any of the... Well, I couldn't anyways, but I'll wait till Germany's turn. Hopefully you guys will uh, have gotten back and we'll see if you agree that Vichy now aligns to Germany. And if so, then I'll go ahead and replace those units in southern France uh, with German ones. But um, regardless, for Italy, they have two tech roles. So they are at stage three for wartime economy. So that's one of the ones we're going to go for. And the second one I guess we'll go for is how about improved construction. So both of them are sevens. So let's go with wartime economy first. We got a four. Okay, improved construction. And we got another four. So unreal with these uh, tech rolls. So for uh, purchases... They got $12. They're going to go ahead and purchase a naval transport for seven, an infantry for three, and a militia for two. Uh, and that is it. for. So they'll spend all $12. Um, again, there's no combat going on, so just non-combat moves. They're going to go ahead and take this naval transport here in C-Zone 51 with the mountain infantry tree from Albania and go back to C zone 50. They can drop the mountain infantry off in Rome is fine. So I'll put the naval transport on the card. It's with the rest of the fleet there in C zone uh, 50. And that is it for uh, non-combat. So then unit placement, we're going to place the naval transport um, and we're going to place that in um, C zone 50 with that fleet. So now that fleet consists of a battleship, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, three destroyers, a torpedo boat destroyer, two regular subs, three coastal subs, and three naval transports. We are going to put the infantry in northern Italy, and the militia will go down into Abyssinia. So now in Abyssinia, there are three militia, cavalry, and infantry, and a fighter. So that's it for Italy. Um, they collect just $10. They're not at war, so no bonuses for the Italians. So they collect their 10 bucks. That's what they'll have to spend on turn number 10. I'll now uh, turn things over to Fighting Irish to finish off turn number 9 with the U.S. and the KMT.